Hello, I'm going to talk about transition metals now. Transition metals are the metals that are in the three rows in the middle of the periodic table. Um, an example of transition metal is of course iron, uh, such as that. There's a lot of others as well. I'm just going to show you some of their characteristics. There's another one, probably steel, which is um, an iron alloy. So one of the things you can see from that is that they are hard and tough. Car paint is used, is made from um, transition metal compounds, blue and red. Those are probably high in transition metals. Probably the red one might be cadmium, I'm not sure. And the blue one, uh, I'm not sure about that either. But anyway, they are transition metal compounds because transition metal compounds tend to be brightly coloured, unlike other compounds such as salt, which is an alkali metal compound, or caustic soda which is again an alkali metal compound which are colorless another characteristic of transition metals is that they tend to be dense and for this reason they are used to make for example weights there's a weight made of brass which is an alloy of copper and zinc I'll show you the weight of that weight is 222 221 grams. Now, to apply Archimedes' principle to this weight, we'll measure the volume that way. There it is. Take the weight with its 221 grams and measure its volume. Thus, it's gone up by something like maybe 30 mil. Hard to say, really. So it's probably got a volume of about 30 cubic centimeters, milliliters, and yet it weighs 221 grams. Another feature is that they are good conductors, so they're used for electrical contacts, as you can see inside this Jupiter Ace. Those tracks on the edge connector are transition metals as well, probably not gold, maybe copper. And another feature that they have, as you can see with this stainless steel chrome-plated steamer, which you've seen before, is that they have a high melting point and therefore combined with their good conductivity they make good cookware because they're not going to melt on a ring and they are also going to conduct the heat well to the food that you're cooking inside them and the other feature of transition metals is malleability now this is a steel can it has tin which is a poor metal on the outside and plating but it's a steel can therefore mainly made of iron possibly manganese and also carbon and it's malleable as in you can bend it there you go.